Hello there and welcome to Linux S2O and uh, in this guide I'm going to show you top 5 GNOME extensions that will provide a better user experience if you're using GNOME desktop environment. Now before proceeding to the video I would like to point here that uh, in order to install these extensions in your system you need to enable extension support in your GNOME. So if you're new to Linux or you do not have GNOME extension setup then check out this video guide this will show you how to enable the extension support in your system if you're using GNOME desktop environment and this will also explain about GNOME extensions. So with that in mind, let's start with the video. So here is the first extension that we have in the list. It's CoverFlow Alt Tab. This extension is for Windows like Tab Switcher. So you have probably used Windows 10 right and uh, its tab switching animation is quite good and I really like it. So how it looks like, let me show you. So you can see this is pretty windows like animation so this is for switching the tabs moving on to the next we have the compass like windows effect now this extension basically enables the compass like bubbly effect in your gnome desktop environment the effect itself is not new and it is already there in the compass if you're using any window manager that support compass compatibility however gnome uses a different windows manager so you cannot use compass windows effect on it but by having this extension you can surely get the same windows effect on gnome as well let me show you how it looks like so here is a window and let me just move it around can you see this is the bubbly effect. Coming up to the third extension in our list, which is this one. I did a recent video on this. This is compass like magic lamp effect. Now this is going to be very familiar to those who have used Mac OS before. This extension enable the lamp or some may call it a zini effect on the applications windows. So when you minimize or maximize any application window, you will see the lamp or zini like effect, which is amazing. Moving on to the fourth extension. We have user stream extension. Now this extension is not that new. If you are someone who have used GNOME, then you probably know about it. But I find a lot of people just don't care about this cool extension. So what it does basically, it enables this feature over here, this cell feature. And uh, this feature will allow you to choose any of the available cell theme for your distribution. Now if you see the window theme for my distribution, you can see it has this black and white combination and the corners are round. And uh, I have also applied the cell theme in my distribution. So you can see that the roundness is maintained over the top bar over here as well and even on the hover effect. And uh, this is what cell theme does to your distribution. It applies it to everywhere. So having this extension in your system is a must. Now finally at the number five we have this extension and it is called floating dock now you will find two extensions by the similar name but you have to install this one floating dock extension is a replacement to the dock to dash extension so the extension is enabled in my system and you can see it the dock here is different it is not a typical gnome looking dock and i have this extension enabled and uh, this does that so someone on the internet forked the dash to dock extension on the github and that guy added some of the features that were missing in the extension. So for example, the floating margin and the roundness, these features are not available into dash to dock extension. So that guy has added these features. So what this allows us is that we can control the radius over here, the corner radius basically. And uh, we can also control the margin, okay, how much uh, up we want the dock. And uh, that is really amazing. And by doing so, it maintains the overall theme of my distribution. So this was the list for the top five extensions that enables a rich user experience in GNOME. I hope you find this list interesting. Let me know about it in the comment section below. Hit the like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I shall catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and keep enjoying Linux.